Hi, everyone. It's Chris. I'm a content developer and project management specialist here at N2K Networks. I'm also your host for this week's edition of CertBite, where I share a practice question from our suite of industry-leading content and a study tip to help you achieve the professional certifications you need to fast-track your career growth. Today's question targets CompTIA's Project PLUS exam, which is exam code PK0005. This exam is targeted for candidates who have about one to two years of project management experience. This is not an actual test question, but an example of one that covers an objective for the fifth version of the exam, which came out in November of 2022. So today I've invited my teammate George back to talk more about project management in the CompTIA context. How you doing, Chris? Hello, George. George is our resident Microsoft expert, so I'm curious how he'll do with another PM question today. So, George, before we get into the question, I'm going to share a 10-second study bit for this exam. You have not taken the Project PLUS exam yet. Is that right? That is correct. I've taken a lot of Microsoft exams, but never a Project PLUS. Okay. So, my 10-second study bit for the Project PLUS exam is take the exam at an exam center to rule out any issues you may have taking the exam at home. I don't know about you, George, but I've heard horror stories about failed tests due to internet and other unexpected disruptions, and you only have 90 minutes for this exam. Yeah, I would agree with that. I've taken an exam at home. I had dogs barking. I had cats uh, <laughs> cats fighting with the dogs, and it was very hard to concentrate <laughs> on the exam, so I agree. Okay, so now on to your question. Are you ready, George? Uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> All right, you'll do well as always. So which of the following options accurately describes a typical safe team's recommended size range? Now safe stands for scaled agile framework. Are you familiar with this methodology, George? Uh, I'm familiar with agile. Okay. A safe is a bit different. I'll explain that in a bit. So uh, let me give you your choices and then I'll give you a little bit of a hint. So okay. The choices are A, there is no recommended size, B, 3 to 10, C, 9 to 20, D, multiples of two for pair programming, a term I'm sure you're familiar with. So George, to give you your hint, um, you said you're not that familiar with SAFE, so you are familiar with Agile and Scrum, and as you know, Scrum is basically a framework that's part of the Agile philosophy. So the hint is it's very similar to a typical Scrum team size as it scales Scrum and Agile practices. So that said, what would your guess be? Okay, so let me narrow these down. So okay. uh, you said there's no recommended size. There's always a recommended size. Come on. Mm -hmm. um, the other one would be, you mentioned um, 3 to 10 and 9 to 20. Yes. Um, Typically, 9 to 20 just seems very, very large. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to lean to, for 3 to 10. Um, the other one was multiple twos for pair programming. I, I don't think that's it. So I'm going to go with 3 to 10. Well, you are correct. Great job. The answer is B. A typical scaled agile framework team size ranges from 3 to 10 members basically to best promote high collaboration and smooth communication. And a scrum team is typically between three to nine people. So you see how I was trying to help you out there. And <laughs> so there, there was your hint. And safe, just for the benefit of our listeners out there, is basically just Godzilla scrum. It takes the principles and workflows of scrum and agile practices and blows it up to enterprise scale. And safe also has a scrum master and product owner like scrum, but some also some additional roles that the scrum methodology does not feature. Well, thanks again for being my PM test subject today, George. Well, thanks for having me. Anytime. And thank you for joining me for this week's Cert Bite. If you're actively studying for this certification and have any questions about study tips or even future certification questions you'd like to see, please feel free to email me at certbyte at n2k.com. That's C-E-R-T-B-Y-T-E at n2k.com. If you'd like to learn more about N2K's practice tests, visit our website at n2k.com forward slash certify. For sources and citations for this question, please check out our show notes. Happy certifying. <laughs>